What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and in this video I get to talk to you about Intel Optane Memory. Intel sent me this dope Alienware Aurora R7 so I could show off how Intel Optane Memory works and how it benefits your PC's performance. It may not be the most aesthetically pleasing PC, but it's sure packing some power. It's equipped with the i7-8700 6-core processor, along with 16 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1070, and a 2TB hard drive that's combined with the Intel Optane memory module. So what exactly is it? Well, as a system accelerator, Intel Optane memory basically makes your PC perform like an SSD-based device. For example, it can make your everyday tasks twice as responsive. You can launch web browsers up to 5 times faster, start games up to 67% faster, and overall make your system performance up to 28% faster. Imagine having an SSD-like speed with the capacity of a hard drive. So what if you're going with a dual drive system? You know, when you have your SSD as your main drive and then you have an extra hard drive, basically for mass storage. Well, not only are you adding more devices to your PC, but you're going to be spending more money that way. You don't really need an extra SSD because the Intel Optane memory acts as a bridge between your processor and your hard drive, speeding up access and helping to prioritize tasks. In short, it makes the small SSD unnecessary. Okay, so what tasks are affected by Intel Optane memory and do you really see difference in real life tasks? Well, based on my previous benchmarks, you guys can see that the speeds are very similar and in some instances, the Optane memory combined with the hard drive is actually faster than a traditional SSD setup. But the main takeaway here is that we're getting SSD speeds, but we're actually paying less for it. A simple task like booting or restarting a PC is also affected, and I was curious to see how long it would take the Alienware Aurora R7 to boot up using Optane memory. Alright, so around 18 seconds from pressing the power button, that's actually pretty fast and comparing it to an SSD, it's not that far off. I'm sure it would have taken over 20 seconds on a traditional hard drive. Searching files within Windows is also up to 3 times faster on Intel Optane memory, basically letting you find and access files faster. I misplace files constantly because I have way too many folders that hold my setup or submissions and all the footage I shoot for my YouTube videos. So it's nice to be able to look them up quickly, that way it doesn't waste any additional time from creating content. And speaking of creating content, Vegas Pro 15, which is my editing program currently, has also gone faster. Not just by launching the program, but also by loading saved projects and importing a bunch of other files. Have you tried transferring 5K RAW files from a red camera? Let me tell you guys, it takes a while, but thanks to Intel Optane Memory, I don't have to wait as long because of its ability to prioritize my most used tasks. Editing is all about the workflow. The smoother the process is, the faster I can get done with a project and move on to the next. I switch between applications a lot, whether it's to look up background music for my projects or finding images to include in my videos, so it's nice that everyday tasks have up to two times faster responsiveness. And finally, the most noticeable difference coming from a hard drive is gaming. With Intel Optane Memory, your PC can boot games up to 67% faster, as well as load games faster. One of the games I play a lot on my PC is PUBG, and typically this takes around 20 seconds to load from my personal PC, which is running games on a hard drive. However, with the Optane Memory, we can see that it only takes a little over 10 seconds to launch. Combining the Intel Optane memory module with the hard drive is the preferred route for anyone that is looking for large storage space and SSD speeds while also being on a tight budget. A huge thanks to Intel for sending over the Alienware Aurora R7 and giving me the chance to check out Intel Optane memory. If you guys want to check out the Beast PC or the Intel Optane memory module, I'll drop a link to both of them down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.